it will only make you better. Because the people that have, have everything handed to them, you can obviously tell that, you know, there's nothing to them. You know, they're not making the sport better because their ego is just, their ego is bigger than their actual size. <laughs> you know? But when you get older, you know, you start to see that, you know, Ego is not what is not what brought you to the dance. It's 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 your character. It's the kind of integrity that you have. <coughs> I think that just about wraps up this video because I tried to tell you everything I could. Don't focus on on protein. Don't focus on drinking these shakes. Just do the best you can. I started in this sport with no money. I started in this sport with people trying to tell me that I could that I would never make it and I did make it. I proved them wrong. It's cuz I was I had it in my mind that I was going to achieve results. I was going to get big even if it killed me and I promised that. I promised it to myself and I kept that promise to myself. I respect this sport with every ounce of energy that I have in my body. And I would not be telling you people or giving you this advice unless unless it was absolutely true. And it is all true. You can research it. You can put everything that I'm saying underneath a microscope. But if you remember anything about this video, remember this. Listen to your body. And if you don't know what that means, just look it up on Google. Just type in listen to your body and you'll get it. The second thing I want you to remember is work hard in the gym. Do not take the easy way out. If, you, if, you're, if you're squatting 100 pounds, squat 100 pounds for 30 reps. Because 15 reps ain't good enough. 10 reps ain't good enough. You got to do 30. When you're feeling like you can't do another rep, you do 10. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care. I don't care if your back hurts. I go to the gym with an injured back because I don't, I don't have enough money to afford surgery. So if that's, if that's the third thing that you remember, that's great. And don't worry too much about eating. Just, just keep away from the drugs and the alcohol and the, and the junk food like candy and, and you know, all junk food. Just stay away from that and you'll be good, you know. Just stay away from that and you got nothing to worry about. Try to use the, the, um, some advice that I gave you in terms of dieting. But don't, but don't, um, don't use everything I say because your body may, is definitely different from mine. Everybody's body's different, so that means everybody's diet has to be different. Everybody's training regimen has to be different, because everybody's body's different. And in turn, that means that your workout habits have to be different. That means your dieting and your eating plans have to be different. If you're a fat person, you want to lose weight, right? Then you got to work very hard. You got you got to take the steps to find out how to lose the fat off your body, because there's many ways you can do it. But if you're morbidly obese, you'd have to you'd have to lose some of the fat first. Try to see if you can get liposuction. Look into everything that you possibly can. Go on the internet. The internet is one of your best tools in this. You can learn so much just by going on the internet now. Because back when I was starting, I didn't have the ability to go on the internet. So I had to learn everything through osmosis, basically. And um, that's how I learned most of the things that I know. I could sit here for hours and just talk about this subject. But it's all going to depend on whether you want to use what I use the information I give you in a positive way, you know.
you can't resent with you can't resent what I'm telling you. You know, you can't resent me because I'm just trying to do the right thing by for everybody to make sure that everybody gets results, to make sure that it's not such a guessing game on what you have to do to get results because I don't want I don't want everybody to <coughs> I don't want everybody to have it as hard as I did when nobody wanted to tell me anything. Nobody wanted to give me advice. I never had a trainer. I'd never been trained. I trained myself. I'm self-trained. And you see how great my physique is. That physique was attained on my own merit. Nobody ever helped me. Nobody. I did it all on my own. And that's something, that's one of the things that I'm very proud of. I, my physique impresses me every time I look at it because I know what I had to go through to get it. I had to work in places that you wouldn't want to work in. It's, I, I couldn't even tell you the, the, the horror stories that of, of places that I've worked in. But that's what you got to do. You got to be willing to do whatever it takes. And I was willing to do whatever it took. I've worked in great places, and, and then I've worked in not-so-great places. But you have to make money. You have to make money to buy your supplements. You have to make money to buy food. And that's going to be that's going to be one of your challenges. It's just the fact if you're, everything is not handed to you, if you're not a rich kid, if you're not a rich kid, then you've got to, your work cut out for you. But the people that, that aren't handed anything and that aren't rich, spoiled brats from, from, from the experience I've seen from other people, the people who have had hard lives, who have not had the money, who had not have had parents to motivate them, only lights a fire underneath their ass to want it more. And that's the kind of attitude that you need in this sport. You need to be the kind of person... And everything that I've told you people, it's coming straight from the heart. I wouldn't be telling you and I wouldn't be telling any of you this if it wasn't if it wasn't heartfelt. Because I have a passion for bodybuilding. I have a passion I have a passion for what I do. And that's something you can't buy. You need to be the kind of person that will do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. If you are not that kind of person, you will never make it in this sport. I don't care what your genetics are. I don't care what your weight is. I don't care how much money you got. What I want to see is how hard you work in that gym. What I want to see is how much you sweat in that gym. What I want to see is somebody who who eats their meal in the locker room, as I do. I eat my meals in my locker room, at my gym. You have to, you have to be willing to think outside the box. <coughs> you got to be willing to do whatever it takes. You got to be willing to eat your meals cold. You have to be willing to sacrifice. And that's basically it. I could ramble on and on about what's required to be successful in bodybuilding. But you will find that out for yourself, I promise you, if you hang in this sport long enough. The results that you get, will they will amaze you on just doing the right thing. Everything that I told you, please, just do the right thing. And that's basically it. So I'm going to end this video now. And for and for everybody that enjoyed it, that's great. If you learned something, that's great. Have a great day, everybody.
keep on working hard. Because believe me, it's worth it. It is worth it. I am living proof of that.